right. I mean, like, we took out the entire fucking uh, mortar fort by ourselves. Oh, you it, killed but... four people with the whole squad. Oh, man. for a later time but i agree um all right let's get this shit fucking started all right gonna listen in on this brief session two Saturday night hell yeah let's sure, go whatever go, baby. good I'm stuff fucking, i got my beer i've got my salt and crackers i'm ready to go all right i got my tea so yeah see this guy yeah. knows all right so our fucking mission here we've fucking got ourselves cut up not cut off. cut off. We need to uh, fucking reply. We're waiting on air to come airdrop to some lodgy trucks. Uh, we're going to set up a fucking nice little cop fob here. <clears throat> but there's Russians in the area. And the Russians over here. So they're going to try and fucking wipe us out. All right. So Vindication is going to be here on the fob proper. Defending. Uh, he's going to have a fire team of some size out west here. Out in that helmet mark. Ding Chavez squad will be up here at the Marksman. Uh, some feeler boys probably up here, maybe even up here too, if they're fucking super feely, touchy feely. Oh, um, we're feely. As you can see, the east here, a uh, radio tower, we got squad three, and even east of that, uh, squad three N, gonna be split up, watching those avenues for us. And then to our south, Blackbeard, if you don't mind, uh, we'll have Blackbeard squad. Guarding our southern flank, he assures me he's got a grand position, so I want to hold him to that. I want to hold all of you in Blackbird squads to that. So, really, when we get the lodge trucks spawn, uh, when those fucking lodge trucks drop in, don't move them, don't drive them. Uh, they're immobile, but we can definitely jump in them and try to unload the supplies. So we can get the cool shit like the mortars and the, the machine gun and the fucking bar iron and whatever. So. Just keep that in mind. If you want to be a hero and run up to the truck and unload it, I fucking applaud you. I, you know, you'll be in the team if you do it. But don't, don't waste yourself needlessly. Uh, our chaining man is gonna be out myself. Will be money man, then Blackbeard, then Ding, and then Vindication. Are there any questions? Yeah, he does sound like a robot. Uh, he... No, no, cool. okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so one last thing. Expect enemy armor, uh, so last be on the fucking look. There's definitely uh, light, light armor, medium sized armor rolling around this area. So fucking keep a lookout. But other than that, so there's all yours. Go fucking beat your boys in a submission. All right, guys. Uh, what operation. So intel from high command shows that uh, the U.S. has basically moved into the Bly Valley and is setting up a patrol base. Somewhere to our south, uh, we basically got satellite imagery, and we have figured out that they are somewhere within the area being designated as Zone Bravo. It's basically that whole general area inside of that road. The road is the border of Zone Bravo. They have a set up a base somewhere in there, and our job is to go in there and root them out and destroy it. So, start things off. Silas and Miyamoto will be considered Group 1. Silas will be an assault squad and Miyamoto will be a support squad. Group 1 at live will move directly from here to the ridge line with the five markers at Echo 973 and so on along that ridge. You'll set up positions looking to your south, southwest, southeast. You'll be looking into Bravo. Silas' squad will be staging about 50 to 100 meters to his north behind, uh, behind Miyamoto's squad. At uh, which, uh, simultaneously, uh, Revy and Bag Joe be designated as Group 2. They will be, with Revy, with the BTR, will be Support Squad. Bag Joe will be an Assault Squad. Uh, they will be heading out of here to the north. Following this path. Before dismounting roughly around here. Uh, at that intersection. At which point they will then move on to the hill to their east. 
and get a base of fire looking there. Uh, again, he, uh, Revy will be set up looking that way, while Baggage Joe will be set behind it. At which point, uh, we'll get to get a base of fire with Miyamoto's and Revy's squads in the BTR opening up and just hammering anything on the north side of Bravo. At that point, Baggage Joe and uh, Silas's squads will move in and secure the northern part of Bravo. Once they have that foothold, they will then consolidate their position and, if possible, begin a steady advance uh, to the southeast to push them off the hill. At the same time, Miyamoto squad will uh, basically be shifting and maneuvering over to the flanks at Delta 933, this hilltop here, while Revy squad will be mounting back up and eventually moving on to the hilltop here, the one at Fox 1175. The idea is we want to try to keep maneuvering and hitting them on their flanks with superior firepower and forcing them back or killing them in whatever positions they're at. Uh, your squad leaders can give you the finer details of the plan, but that is it. Break it out and get ready for live, everyone. And we are live, I believe. Yeah, live about a minute and a half ago. Have I missed anything? Doesn't look like it. We got Red 1 and Red 2 moving southwest off of their objective, moving west, and they've got um, the BTRs and a trans truck moving southwest from the north side of the map. Blue 2 moves northwest, Blue 3 moves northeast, split up into two fire teams with Blue 4 on point proper, Blue 1 on the south. They did send a buddy all the way out to the west, and it's going to work out for them, at least scouting wise, even though I don't like that position. You know ready or not? I do not know ready or not. Do you ever participate in the events? I do participate in the events commentating wise, but as far as like playing in the events, not recently. I might actually start playing in the Friday events because I don't stream those. Um, because I, I I have to I gotta maintain a healthy balance with the uh, the community. I can't be at every event or you know people get burnt out that way. And it is just a game. We're all volunteers, not getting paid for any of this. And. Uh, I definitely want to be a part of this community for as long as I can, and uh, I do that by, you know, maintaining a healthy relationship with how much I actually play, because I've got a lot of hours in squad. There was a BTR and numerous other vehicles trying to get accurate. I'm going to go check out, we're going to go uh, counterclockwise around, check out uh, Red 1 and 2. I like I like his his the idea of splitting them up into two two assault teams. They just gotta fix their spacing. The the US do get mortars. This could be really bad. Efank gonna be C eight three five. Efank and Doobie Skew. Copy. Uh, they ran straight towards us. Say that one again. C eight. Cover you. Keep falling. Uh, back. It's gonna be about C eight three seven. Okay, thank you. The buddy bound. Good job. One run, one cover. Hopefully, Dubisky turns around, covers him while he catches up. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm coming. There you go. Look at that. That's bounding right there. Good, good bounding. Good job, Dubisky. Oh, like, don't falter now. All right. Right as I give him praise, they just decide to turn tail and run. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, just working at nice little buddies. Look at that. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay. Not good spacing buddy wise, but still, I like the idea. Everybody knows who they're supposed to be working with. That just generally means there's gonna be some good, you know local com communications. Local communications going on. Local communications communications. Security for the BTR. The BTR in the in in the history of this operation has been pivotal when it comes to the success of the Russians. It, it either makes or breaks them, honestly. Um, the it, it, it all depends on how aggressive Captain Dillon and Seethers are. They need to stay behind their infantry. They need to stay with their infantry. They don't need to stay behind it. They can be in front of it. They can be to the side of it. But they need to stay near infantry who can provide some kind of cover for them. Ooh. One in... One and two, moving past uh, blue three here. They're trying to slip in between them. They may come into contact in the next couple minutes. There they go. Vert goes down. Watch out for nades. Man, three is What the fuck? Northwest. 
Miyamoto, uh, turtle guy getting sh sh taking shots at Miyamoto and then getting shots return or frag grenades returned upon him. Turtle guy goes down to a frag. He ends up taking out one, so it's a one for one trade. Okay, but Blue needs to get out of here before they get overwhelmed. They are definitely outnumbered here. They've done what they could. They got the information across. Get out of there. Don't hold this. I mean, yep. if you're gonna hold this, stay inside. Don't peek. You know, harden up, make them come to you, and make them pay for taking an objective that isn't necessary. But I think the, the correct call would be to break contact, get back with your squad. My money's taking shots. This is not a, a great building to... I mean, I guess he's got this, this stuff to block fire, but these, these wooden fences do not block fire. I guess the, the boxes and, like, the... the I don't know what this is. Pipe, that's the word. Pipe. Hey, do block fire. But uh, these these uh, thin metal walls do not pull a pin all the way. Great contact, guys. Get out of there. I heard that the insurgents are planning to provide a jamming device on the vehicles of insurgents. What is that? What do you mean? What would they jam? Radios? Wow. Hmm. I don't think they would. I don't think OWI would do anything about jamming by jamming radios because then that would just encourage. Oh, my money goes down to Epic Smiley. Because the, the, the whole reason OWI has these comms, and the reason you can't hear other, like, the enemy comms, is because they want to encourage, you know, in-game communication. Because if, 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 they do, if they do something with, like, jamming comms, and, and, jam, and hearing other people's voices from the enemy team, it just encourages people to use other voice systems like Discord, or Ventrilo, or Bumble, and things like that. So I don't think they're gonna do anything with communication, with like by Jamie Com. But who do I know? They might have changed their mind. This little sneaky spot here by Ibrooks. That's a something big. You here? Yeah, I'll get you. Three what? Yeah. They're coming up on us, bro. Twenty meters west and west. Oh, and they're getting flanked here. Have your other teams support you, if necessary. Copy. Yeah, they should have broken contact a while ago. On the west now, let's go check out that as these guys maneuver. It really, I don't think Alpha uh, Alpha is going to move any of these guys until one uh, one fire team gets into position. BTR moves up, or BTR moves up a little bit. These guys move up on top of the hill. E nine two eight. We can see everything north of the uh, the lake, so he is. We can cover now. Roger. I'm sure he can hold, but... It's just suppressing fire right now. I don't think the Russians know exactly where the U.S. are. Just laying down fire where they think they might be. I'd like to see you do something with this fire, though. Because tracers work both ways. If you're going to be firing, somebody better be moving. It looks like Red 4 is moving on the southwest. Command, contact appears to be pushing past this on our west. Stand by. They're going north. Roger. Two. They're going to be between one and three here soon, I think. Kind of already are. Three, do you know how many you might have killed? And I do see those guys over there. Two, they're on your east side, the hills. You should be able to see them. Stay, Shuka. I told you. So it open. There's confirmed contact between two and three, and it sounds like results shown uh, one side to be favored this up. I feel like this is a, a, an actual 50 50 op. If it leans anyway, it has to lean defenders just because. Defenders, they can sit there, and Van Ammons aren't going to tell them to move because they're the ones defending, so I just have to move. But I've seen it go both ways. I've seen the, 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 the US, uh, um, excuse me, the Russians overwhelm them as well as the US holding out. Like, I've seen the 
Actually, no. I, I, I lied when I said this Beach. is defender sided. If it leans anyway, it's going to be attacker sided just because they've got that BTR advantage. Okay. Um, but I have seen the US go crazy with the defender's advantage. One guy getting like 13 kills just because he could sit there and let them come to him. It, it can go both ways. It really comes down to your positioning and, and how well you, uh, you can uh, fall back and move and reposition. Man, be advised. I have a whole enemy squad about C994 pushing south. Roger. Confirm yeah, they're gonna my, uh, they're gonna my... on the west side. I think they all got cleared my out here. Yeah, three three Trident and uh who I forget who squad three loops was. Copy that black. Hero? No. Money man's dead. Yes. Yeah, money man. A report from the Money Man to try and go squad. down, He's frag out, doesn't go get anybody. Years. Yeah. I have a question. Is most of the persons playing squad ops ex military servicemen? Just curious about it. I don't think so. A good percentage are at current or uh, active or uh, retired military, ex military, but not everybody. If I were to put a number on it, it's probably it's it's actually in my opinion pretty low, like less than twenty five percent of the people playing in our ops are like active military or you know have prior military experience. It's just people who are interested in you know our one life events and uh, and just having that that uh, that awesome experience that squad can provide. Brooks waiting for Sudby. Look at this! Look at these spots he's got. Waiting. No, don't get up. You have a spot. Yeah, well, they're just gonna keep pushing south. <laughs> oh no, Brooks! What? You had, you had the upper hand. I don't know how you lost that. <laughs> Blackbeard is SL nice. Yeah, into it. Um, this is Blackbeard's second or third time SLN. New squad, uh, new regular. He's been signing up to squad lead, and they've been picking him. This is Dean Chavez's second time, first day squad leading, second time squad leading. He, he squad led first round. Um, some other new guys. Vindication actually, I think, is relatively new. Wow, Dwarf got a lot of the new guys. I, I feel like that <laughs> that happens to Dwarf a lot. So three gets completely. The three loses the fire team completely. Should have fallen back. I, I, I think, like, he, they, they, I don't know. They should have fallen back. I think it was the right call from the beginning. They took the contact they, they had. They gave the information. They could have just turned tail and ran. Or at least bound back by buddy team, fire team. I don't think uh, Ibrooks should have missed that shot, though. Let's go check out uh, moving across the board. We got Blue 2 moving. Uh, take it, took out uh, this fire team. Still in a rock in between two squads. They got blue two on their west and blue three, the remainder of blue three on their east. Blue one is going for a flank, most likely flanking this element here. Blue, uh, red one is fl going on a flank, most likely flanking blue three. Blue two pushing th in, or uh, red two pushing in between blue two and three. Red three and four going, uh, setting up in this hill. This is a hill they really wanted to take control of and, uh, push east from because it's going to be a, a very nice uh, hill to uh, lay down some fire. I'm going to go check out these uh, skull markers. Most likely mines. BTR not doing much behind that hill though. This is the hill proper I believe. Hey, I don't think they were able to come up again. Yeah. Let's go check out these uh Mines? I want. I want to say they're mines, or I'll say they've exploded already. Dude, you got a tr fucking truck right in front of you. Jump in and drop supplies. Yeah, I'm mine. Not even dug down. Oh, come on, copy that. Just Probably didn't even need to see the map to to. to that. Another one right there. Cool. So oh, first supply drop is done. Uh, was spawned on the north. Bluetooth's uh, going to be able to get it, no problem. I wonder if it's in range. In range? Are you dropping supplies? Or is it just not in range? It's in range, but it's not dropped.
I'm not getting any flies. Uh, we have Pythonk in our squad. Hey, did anyone pop us to the northwest red? Negative. That's that. Things have slowed down since Red Three, uh, Blue Three has been taken out, or the the fire team from Blue Three. Yeah, give me that sweet build. That was so weird. It was in the radius, but it wasn't dropped. I had to move it like a foot. This is gonna be interesting. We'll see what happens. Where they decide to move them, um, most likely gonna be online here. This is gonna be the flanking element. Uh, red one here. On the, the far east. Red 2, not sure why they haven't really followed in Red 1's footsteps. Most likely going to uh, be a base fire and just draw some draw some pressure from the north. Where's the BTR going to go? Is it going to run over a mine? Command the squad 3, you want to continue to hold this position? What is the time there? Here it uh, is 7 o'clock in the morning. It Right now it's almost uh, 8.40 in the morning. Or, I mean, 8.40 in the evening for me. Yeah, Vindication, I need someone to build those sandbags, and I need someone else to go drop supplies in that truck. Next Logi truck has been spawned in on the west. Also in range. They got really lucky with these two drops. Three, how's your position? We're strong. Contact. I mean, you're nice. I was gonna say Australia time zone, but that's just because I have friends or a friend in Australia, so I, I sort of know that time zone. I was not. I mean, how do you become a squad lead on these ops, Kyle? Um, squad leads first go to the staff members who sign up for it. If those don't fill up, which Normally, there's like one or two spots that don't fill up, um, unless it's like a very popular op. Um, we then pull from our regulars who can sign up. So once you become a regular, you can then sign up on the squad lead like reserve list, I think is what it's called. And we choose from that. Usually, we like to favor like people who haven't squad led in a long time, people who are new to squad lead. Like, you're just trying to get more and more people the experience of squad leading uh, when it comes to the regulars. Unless, you know, we need like six, then we do. We'll probably pick a couple more experience than you can. More off the hill to our west. And I can see him easily. I had a guy crash and I've not taken casualties yet. I'm okay to put down a rally to get And if you're interested in you. learning the theory, the basics of, of leadership, we do have a leadership course that goes over, you know, the what you should be doing as squad lead, how you should, not how you should be squad leading, but... What go, what yeah, should be going through your head while you squad lead to help you make the most Copy. accurate decision or like the, the the most viable decision? And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's broken up into two courses: the theory course, which is just like lecture, and then the practical course, um, which means you've gone through the practical portion, like you've gone through the the training for that, and you can get tagged up for both. And uh, they do play like a, a factor when it comes to you know. Who, who can be who who wants to be fire team leader and it and definitely puts you on a better footing for when you do get into those leadership infantry shifting north on our west flank so ninja lish is going to get spotted by d leak here possibly going to go down oh what a one tap we're going to have uh, contact to our southwest these guys have terrible security right man let's take contact to our south close they see him now, but they're, they're, they're overwhelmed. Look at this. I'm going to just pull back. Little Scooter goes down. Accardi gets hit. Accardi goes down. Boom, we're going to go down next. Look at this push by the red. Really solid uh, positioning by them. The security was just... They were on top of each other. Boomer gets shot at. That's what Red 2 is doing here. Red 2 is that base of fire. Actually, they had these two guys. Lima Bean and Epic Smiley being the base of fire. And Boomer goes down. Whole fire team cleared out. Nice line formation by the Reds. I like to see them spread out just a little bit. Facing is still a thing. You don't want to get taken out by the same grenade. And it's, and now that the U.S. have mortars, you're 100% going to have to watch that uh, facing. Try to get them contact reports out, right? 
Big, the, the only contact report was, uh, to, we've got contact to our south close. And I guess that's a, an accurate contact report. Um, next thing you want to say is, is uh, approximate numbers, but the, the, the amount of guns shooting at them, you, 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 you couldn't really tell. But it, it led with one shot. That's when he gave the contact report. And then it was just like four or five guns. You probably could have called out at least a full squad. Or I would have called out a, a full squad. Um, at, at least a, a fire team. But, but let your platoon lead know how many are there. It helps them build an accurate picture. Because what Dwarf is doing right now is like, we, we got this. We, we can see all of this stuff. Wow, they fell back. They didn't want anything to do I with this, did they? I'm going to have a mortar up here. Huh. Huh. Just in here. Interesting, interesting. I don't know why they fell right, back from I this hill then. I guess they realized, the or they, they, they assumed this wasn't going to be a good so. position to push east from. Direction in my cover. But they are all loading uh, up. Looks like they're going to go anything. and hook up with red yep, one copy. and two. But uh, what Dwarf is doing in his head is contact. a contact report comes in and he puts like a mental pin there's in the map right of where that is right. and he's like all right that last contact was was you know here there that means there's somebody is. here which means they're probably and he's trying to think of where they're moving he's got the contact report right. to the west there goes another pin in his head just contact report on the west yeah, you know, that, there has been no double stack mention of that contact on the west but i guarantee you dwarf is still thinking about those contacts on the west and where could they possibly be moving i don't think he's going to call that they are remounting up and moving into a different flank this World War II. No, this is a modern combat chase. Um, yeah, definitely it's modern combat. We do. There, there's another game similar to Squad. Yeah, somebody brought it up. Postscriptum. Uh, with the U. Script okay, U M. Um, Postscriptum. And uh, yeah, it is set in uh, during the Market Garden campaign. That's a lot of fun too. I, I like both of the both of the uh, the games. Definitely have more time in Squad. D9, yeah. I got nothing for you right now, Dwarf. I just asked. I'll let you know. Be advised. Uh, not, not too many Delta rounds. Maybe. Yeah, maybe just like three. I'm trying to see where that actually is. No. It's, uh, see, they Northwest still think there are guys on the oh, west. They 100% still think there's guys on the west. They don't know this is here. Hey, uh, who's, who's running away from me? <laughs> from you. Didn't Alpha Guido away. pulled a switcheroo, and it's going to pay off for him, I think. Double stacks of sandbags allowed? What do you mean double stacks? Like, two? Yeah. Double stacks of sandbags. Like this? Yeah. This is allowed. Our real only rules for, for sandbags is they have to be... They can't block doorways. They can't block ways you can naturally walk through. Like doorways. Um, you can't completely block off like an alleyway and make just, uh, a funnel. But like these kind of sandbags are fine. Pseudo funnels are fine. Well, they're questionable. Hey, you, you have to be very careful with your 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 pseudo funnels, but um, back in squad ops's earlier days, we used to have some pretty insane fobs, like the most funnily of funniliest fobs that were. It was just a, you, you couldn't get into them. Like it was just impossible to get into them, and we had to sort of hone it down a little bit. Realize let's not go that crazy with the fobs. We got it. Let's just do only like what you need. Don't get excessive. I'm gonna show this link though. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I think the bot will catch catch the link. That's the issue. I'm not sure how to allow the allow the bot to do that. To. So, blue two still on the north. Blue four point uh in the middle, and uh, blue one on the south. Blue three, 100% wiped out. Red 1 and 2 on this hill and F9 with uh, two squads moving south. I'd like to see them get a little closer. I think they 100% could get a little closer, but they're playing it safe. They don't want to get up like here and get ambushed from this hill. Like the castle super fob? Yeah, ca uh, the, what comes to mind with, with why we we um, started... Uh, oh, I don't really have outlines. Um, why we sort of started to tone down our fobs is uh, Operation Whirlwind. For those of you who weren't not around like three years ago, I want to say maybe four. Oh, I don't think Squad Ops was here four years ago. How old is Squad Ops? Is Squad Ops? I think Squad Ops is three. Three this year. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong because I'm probably wrong. Um, but yeah, definitely three years ago, uh, our Whirlwind fobs 
were insane. For those of you who don't know what Whirlwind is, uh, it's on the Kohat River Valley map where you the insurgents have to defend Radio Tower. And uh, Radio Tower is just a gigantic hill with a Radio Tower in the middle and, and some like chain link fence. Imagine that entire hill with three complete circles, just one inside of the other with barbed wire on the outside, only one way in from the very outside, everything else was sandbagged you had to jump over. We're like, ah, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, like even if the US could get to the FOB, it's not like they could get into the FOB. So, gotta tone it back, still make it a little, uh, you know, Kind of fun for the guys attacking, even though it is supposed to be defender sided. It's not supposed to be, you know, impossible. Okay, I need Echo 1096 now. Copy. One round. Wait, give, give, give me the building. Give me the building. Give me the building. Uh, Echo 1096 is going to be. Give me a sec. Hey, we get another HMG. You guys Going the wrong way. Like, you don't care if I put it somewhere. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be to your. Back. I think you got command until so it gets back. Uh, copy that. All right. Hold fire on that mortar for now. Um. Okay, let's get a sit rep. What's going on? It's been dead quiet for a while. Uh, all quiet on two. I have no visual contacts within the past five minutes or so. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about our CP. Four, can you try and get some eyes on looking west? I think they might try and push us south, in which case we're fine, because my, my boys will chill the fuck up. But yeah, we need to defend our a, a little bit. I got one pair of binoculars looking that way, and an HMG with an op looking that way. Okay, good stuff. As long as they don't sneak up on us, I don't really mind. Copy that. Two, what's your, what's your situation? Uh, we're just holding tight. I got 360 around my compound. Uh, we're just holding. Where was the last contact that you took and how long ago? So last contact we took was going to be west about roughly C995 area. About five minutes ago. I haven't seen anything since. Okay, just watch it in case they try and creep up on you. Because uh, the southwest of that compound isn't, unless you've got eyes on. Is not occupied. Yeah, copy that. Damn Russian is about to get violence of actions. I can smell it. Let's check out the south push is what's going to happen. You see the gates getting ready to swing, and you got red one on this hill, probably going to be the base of fire. Red two going to push in from here. Can float base of fire if it needs to. Can can switch base of fire if it needs to. Red uh, three, five, uh, three, four, and five going to try and swing in from the south. Red six, just a shadow, Dude, only man, the one guy. Having a buddy team relocated to cover the south. Let's check out these guys in the south because uh, blue one is going to be the ones who take this contact. Are they set up? Are they vigilant? Watching yeah, their sectors. Good. Okay, cool. Excellent. Get his face in the dirt. Oh, we're just going to keep it tight. We've got good covers. elko has got a nice little angle there. We don't need to move. Nice field of view for him. It looks like they transported the troops out of here. Okay. Do we have a, an estimation of how many guys we've taken out? Update on kills for you to know. They don't know. One kill for the U.S., ten for the Russians. That's a full squad wipe from them. Why are some of these guys not lit up? I do. Still watching the West, AP, uh, APA watching the West still, um, Pipe Funk still watching West. Good to maintain security, even though there is nobody there, they don't know that, and they should definitely, yeah, maintain security on those flanks. Yeah, A firm on that. Red 2's online. I think they're going to be a base of fire. I thought they'd push across, but uh, this field is not 
the best to push across from. They are online, so move to the top of the hill and then start firing. Alright, guys, I'm back. Very sorry. Alright, command's back with him. I'll move him back to my position. Thank you so much. What's the situation? All quiet on the western front. In fact, all fronts. Uh, we haven't had any contact for a few minutes. Uh, Dwarf took the probably the best opportunity for Dwarf today. Okay, whatever he needed to do. No contact in the last couple minutes because Alpha Guido is completely swapping his uh, plan or or his uh, his route. And they're moving. It's not like they're moving slowly. They're just they're just going a long way. Definitely dismounted too early though. Uh, we're just holding firm. Last attack was probably about seven minutes ago. Haven't seen anything or heard anything since. The last contact we had was uh, probably around like C965 area rough. That's good to know about your strength. Full strength. Sorry, you oh, broke up when perfect. you asked. <laughs> Uh, that be your strength? Uh, full strength. With the last contact we saw was moving south, or was on our eastern flank moving south. I have a suspicion that they're moving to flank us from the E1186 village and push up that way. So I'm reinforcing. Yeah, I like I like this um this yeah. layer a lot. I think it's a really cool layer to play on. Black Ops is actually a, a really fun op. I've actually I've commanded it once, I played it in once, and then I've com uh, commentated on this at least uh, three, two, two times. Maybe three. They're not gonna run over a mine, are they? Risky moving their uh, BTR around like this, but they're most likely gonna. Oh, I thought they were gonna push it up here and then rehook up with them, just because they didn't want to go through the the woods. They're doing something. Captain Dillon and Seethers. They missed their turn off. They had to. They're, they're, they're intentionally going to be here. Update. At least Interesting. They're they're trying to hide. You have a coordinate. Definitely not a bad hiding spot. Alright, I'll stay there then. Do you have a coordinate? I need to tell command. Do you have a coordinate? Uh no. Negative on coordinates. Rough, ge very generally. So you think we'll come Southeast. up this hill where the rocks are, right? I need kill zones along these, um, these, uh, this flat plane below our ridge, okay? You two try not to sit so close together. I know you're trying no, to call no, them as they are, but... Okay, I'm gonna pull... Blackbeard handling his squad really well. Okay, do you see the gap between uh, I don't get shot and. Oh, they're getting. Uh, How's it going, Contifer? Soft boy? No, I think we're fine. What is that you shoot? Yeah, but they're Shots out now. Red team is online, it looks like. Who is shooting? These guys. They're just suppressing. Fire and maneuver. As this uh, squad fires, another squad is moving. Great, uh, great movement. See if they can keep this up. 
Looks like they're just going to clear a couple buildings before moving through them. Yeah, they just don't want to get shot in the back. <clears throat> okay, Confirm, uh, confirming shots from the south to east. Distant, maybe 200 meters. We're taking sporadic, semi-accurate fire. I've got plenty of ammo to work with, so... I can just get liberal with the fucking orders if you want. Yeah, can you just smash that field, uh, sort of southeast of our position? You drop a load of a widespread around the Echo 10 2 4 mark. That would be great. Just get him to piss Echo off. Echo 10 2 4. This is where he, he's gonna try and get them in this area. I'd say push them out. He knows it's 200 meters, or at least. But look at this movement. So four is fi finished firing, and they're gonna move up. Three online, gonna move. Two, still gonna be the base fire. I wanna see what happens with one there. I think these are gonna be the swing guys. They can either push in or uh, pull back and go for another flank. So if you can creep those rounds towards the village, that would be great. Yeah, that's the call. Creep them towards the village like that. Just walk them out. Yeah, walk them further out. Good mortars. If they keep walking those out like he wants, this is gonna be great mortars. Assault almost gets hit by that. He's walking him out. This could be... Oh, too far! He just walked him out so... Oh. That's... But that's good for the, the red team. They just need to move under them. They just need to keep moving and, and, and be faster than the mortars. He's walking him out. Yeah. The, the call was good. I, I agree with the call. Walk them out. Red is just moving faster than the mortars can land. Good fire from three. They just can't sit here for too long. Dwarf has already sent mortars out on this position. It's a pre-dialed position, or it, it's a position that has just been fired upon. They have to know that it's going to be easy to get back in this position. So, red three is switched to the base of fire, allowing two and four to move. This is picture perfect bounding right here. This is squad bounding. Four and two, base of fire, three move. Three, base of fire, four and two move. That is that is great. Good job, Alpha Guido. I pointed at my screen like you could see, but you can't. <clears throat> Spacing is still an issue. I, I definitely think spacing is an issue, but that's not a, an Alpha Guido thing, that's an individual squad lead thing. He needs to get these guys spread out, because they're very susceptible to mortars. And, uh, almost, the Soldier Wolfie almost goes down on mortar. Fortunately, uh, Assault had a rock in between him and said mortar, so he, he's alright. Great bounding. I, that was good. Look at that, and they maintain the, the platoon line. Look at that platoon line. Yes! Yes! You gotta keep keep moving. Don't get bogged. They cannot get bogged down here. If they get bogged down, they're just gonna get mortared to hell. Ooh, Wolf. Second one does the job. Wolfie goes down. How's ammo for them? I know fours things in the way. I can't. I can't hover over the <laughs> you stupid rally. I can't. Can't check their ammo because fours uh, flag is hanging over the <laughs> the fob. Unfortunate. I have no idea. Mortar magnet will be right. I think followed him. Bartark we're gonna try and move through the mortars. Keep going. Chaplin almost goes down to that. Keep moving. You just gotta keep moving. That's the thing. Yeah, if they hadn't moved there, this that would have been a dead two, three people. Because they were just in that position. Dwarf's mortars are always so accurate. I'll get, lo I'll get low and I'll get a couple of uh, action shots on the rifles, but I'm just interested in seeing where these mortars fall. And, and I like, like, it, it's kind of hard to see in the stream... I'll do the name tags up so that we can sort of see they're out. Uh, fortunately, only two kills to ten for uh, the team, so not a lot of uh, admin cams to clutter the screen. 
We'll do yep. name tags just so you can see the line that they've got going from uh, uh, northeast to southwest. It's a little ragged because uh, Chu can't really move through this open ground near the, the river. But they're making it work and they are pushing in very aggressively. I like it. I like it a lot. BTR pushing up to support three and four from the south. Well, actually, uh, I think these guys are just going to be a base of fire now. One and two are going to be a base of fire. Three and four are now the main assault element. I think I we didn't miss much. I think I'm good. Everybody should be good. Stream says it's back up. Haven't missed too much. Four kills for the US. 14 for the Russians. They only picked up four more in this engagement. I gotta go catch up. Two, what's the status on that lap? He's still moving. So, um, uh, movement from blue two, blue two moving southwest, taking uh, uh, control of this hill on the south, blue, uh, red two and four pushing very aggressively, uh, red one on the northeast, uh, completing the, uh, the flank, I guess. They are so aggressive. This is such aggressive movement by, uh, Alpha Guido. Super susceptible to mortars because of how close they are. A couple well-placed grenades, even. They need to watch their spacing, but I like the aggressiveness. It's, it's... It's great. It's all exactly what the Russians need to do. Should be back, everybody. Yeah, I think I'm back. Everybody's numbers look pretty okay. I'm dropping frames. Yeah, uploads should be good. Yeah, I think we're back, and I think we're into it. We're going to be able to watch the end of this first round of Operation Black Ice. Mimoto goes down. And, th and this is the, the this is a possibility when um wow look how close james got max ends up taking him out circled in from the east one needs to keep moving here keep up this aggression don't allow four to be of any use or excuse me two to be of any use Falcon goes down to a grenade tossed by i'm not sure Zachy goes down this constant aggression from 3a if i was gone any longer like it and we, we might have missed it is, is how quick this uh this uh push has been they're leading with grenades and they're continuing to push i think Everybody else who's on the point property just needs to start tossing grenades in a direction. Literally any direction that they know the enemy's at south or, or you know, south or west. Or, excuse me, south or east. And they'll hit somebody. Look at this bunch up of, of, of troops to the south. Okay, I can't then. Or we can kill all the infantry. Oh no, dwarf! Watch, dwarf! He didn't hear that. He didn't hear that grenade go off. He didn't hear that grenade go off. He still has no idea. There, there, infantry on his flank. He's he's concerned about these guys over here, which rightfully so. He should be concerned about those guys. That's a bulk of the, the enemy forces. But still got to maintain that uh, rear security. He spotted one. No, no, he did not spot him. He doesn't know where they are. UJ Key takes out Dwarf. I'd have gone for the knife, the disrespect knife. That's what I, I'd have gone for it. It's not often that that's set up for you. But uh, UJ Key just goes, goes for the safe route and uh, shoots Dwarf. Looks like the BTR is stuck. It's sliding, it's sliding down. So, Russians overwhelm the point. They got uh, blue one, uh, Blackbeard only one remaining on the point. 
uh, with blue two on the west. They weren't able to complete their flank and be of any use on air. They probably should have moved southwest, set up as a base of fire, and started firing east. That might have been the best bet, and it allowed them to have a, a nice crossfire with the Russians. Now they are tasked with moving in and trying to reassault that position, which is going to be very, very hard for him, for them, for all of them. Late again, Flinky Frankie. Yep, late again. Nearing the end game of round one. First round should be over here in just a matter of moments as we've got one, two, seven blue, seven uh, US versus. Seventeen, eighteen Russians? So they got almost double the numbers in the, and the Russians are now on the defense with BTR advantage. That's huge right there. BTR advantage and the BTR hasn't done anything. It's got three kills. Okay, it's done something. Look at this aggressive movement by Captain Dylan and this BTR. Got eight kills with my trusty AR on that match, Frisky, did you? Nice. Yeah, they, they were funneling into you. They just 100% overwhelmed you. I, before I crashed, I, I lost my train of thought. Before I crashed, I was saying this is the, the bad thing about such a wide defense from Dwarf. Is that if they get overwhelmed from a, from a weak flank, there's it's, it's very, very hard for anybody else to fall back and and help out on the point proper like two was across the street here decided to go southwest the call i probably would have made instead of falling back to the point and now they are effectively cut off with this from this uh road so uh, i might go down uh, in which case you have goon left copy that i'm swinging my guys around south ding chavez blackbeard last two commands ready ding chavez first gay squad leading second op squad leading a lot of pressure on him to try and salvage this round. 16 kills for the U.S., 27 for the Russians. Damn Russians swarming your position, right? Okay, so I've got they had a very, very... Um, Russian movement has been... On point this round. Very good Russian movement. Uh, Alpha Guido has done a great job with his platoon. Is Crouch Crouch quieter than prone and walking? I believe Crouching is definitely quiet. I, I want to say Crouching is quieter because you listen to Blackbeard crawl. We're going to listen to Blackbeard as he tries to crawl. It's like, like it's so loud. And and then walking is just like, I believe Crouching is definitely, okay, he's not going to go, pro, he's not going to go crawling because Save B's just going to put a couple shots in his back. Blackbeard goes down. Goon still alive. Only one remaining from Blackbeard squad. Ding Chavez has five remaining. Basically a fire team. What can he do? What can he do? Oh, let's swing do? around now, guys. Swing around. This match is all but over. <laughs> We're, we, we play it out to the last man. Um, just traditionally, that's what we've always done. Um see if he he can salvage this. I'm not saying he can't salvage it, but it's not Jeff looking Jeff. good for him. All right, so be careful when we get up here. We're going to cross this fucking road. I think it's so fitting Dean Travis is now squad leading because uh I believe he got his name from from Rainbow 6. I, I'm reading the the Rainbow 6 book. Um and he's a team leader for for Rainbow 6. Let's go farther south and cross the road here. Never count out to me and go Chavez, right? Quickly. We gotta retake the radio ASAP. Rainbow Six is the best book ever. I'm enjoying it. I'm 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 really enjoying it. But uh I, I get Audible. I have an Audible subscription. I cross, uh, and I really like those long books because I, I do a like like a lot of driving around. 
So, um, having and I hate to re- listen to the same like three songs. I I, li- I love listening to books, and I've I've really enjoyed the Rainbow Six book. Once we get on the other side of the charge them with knives. Start heading to the east. Okay, good points across the street. The uh, this would have been risky. Good good idea to cross south here, and then it's just open ground for them to move through. Not I'm not saying that, that you know that changes anything, but the the decision to move south across the street rather than east. Good call. Let's try to get. They have so many left. Yeah, they have uh, quite a few left. Almost double the. Uh, prob- it's more than double the amount that the U.S. have left at this point. Okay, my commute is three hours one way. Wow. Audible is a godsend. Yeah, I love Audible. I got it when I was in college, and I was a uh, I was a pizza delivery driver, and uh, I got tired of listening to the same music over and over again. So I got an Audible account. And I recently, last year, um, upgraded to two credits a month, and now I'm like swimming in books. I could do one credit a month easy. I'd blow, I'd blow through the book in like a week, but now two credits a month, they are, they are starting to pile up. Eight up there, all these sandbags. I don't see anybody behind the sandbags as of right now. Mostly because I, I feel like I have to get my money's worth with those books. At mi- no, like a minimum up, book for me is twelve hours, eight to eight to twelve hours. Can. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Anything less, then I'll just buy because it's. Roger. Oh, I need you laying down a base of fire. Usually listen to World War II podcast on my one and a half hour drive to work and back. I mean, that's not bad. The World War II podcast. That's, that's actually pretty interesting. Right here. I've yeah. been watching... Um, Alright, let's get ready to start pushing. The, for those of you, uh, the, the Great War series with... Um, oh, I forget his name, uh, but he started... Good. Don't go in. He started yeah. a World War II series on YouTube, right and it's really good. World War II don't, week don't by week. Don't start shooting yet. Don't start shooting yet. Anyways, I'm getting when off they, top. Indy. Indy Night Owl. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I was going to say, like, Are Ignis. Like, That's not right. Blue 2, going to try and push up from the south. A lot of pressure yeah. to uh, move. Uh, actually, not that great of a flank. Um, or not great Not great flank security to the south. Sebi V, Seethers, and Hijack looking south. They got a nice little... Crossfire here with one, but one is looking south as well. Let's see what happens. Can they overwhelm these? Can they de- uh, uh, defeat in detail? Take out these guys before moving on to the next? Because right now it's, it's five versus four. They they overwhelm this specific position. Can they do it? Nope. See, this takes out Frederick. Plank is given away. VPN to find a good audiobook comment site? Oh, I, I like Audible. I've, I've had it for years. I think they deserve my money. I just recently passed. I've had Audible since 2013, and I just passed one year of listening. Like, 4,000 hours or something, which is how much I listen to it. Yeah, I've got over 13 months now of listening since I've had my Audible account, and that's just sort of my... I keep track. I feel good about myself. Zeronic laying down some good cover fire, allowing the rest of his guys to move up. He's got nobody to cover. As, uh, Sad Year is the only one remaining. Where'd Ding go? I believe Ding went down. Sad Year eventually takes out Seethers, but it is two against the world. They're going to have to get a move up. Move on it. Reading Game of Thrones. I like the Game of Thrones books. I haven't finished reading them. I've read the first four. Um, and then I just sort of stopped. No. I started the fourth one. I never finished the fourth one. I finished three of them. I got a couple. It's the... The, the um... The Catelyn chapters always bum me out. Even though I know what happens. I've seen the, the show. Sad Year goes down to Sebi V. But Catelyn chapters always just bum me out. They're just so bad. GG. U.S. couldn't fall back to the point. That's the, the that's what, what happens when you have such a wide defense and you're not able to hold your specific flank. U.S. Um, aren't able to fall back as efficiently as they uh, you, uh, right. would be able to. And the U- the Russians just move in and assault a weak flank and overwhelm it. Great movement from the Russians. I wow. can't get over it. How well their their bounding was from Alpha Widows. 18 kills to 34. 
um, for the Russians. But yeah, Alpha Guido had some great bounding. Well. See yeah, what happens. Fire team, can I just... Live, live, live. G L H F. So, blue 2 going to move west, take up position in this hill. Blue 4 going to hold their position. Blue 1 on the east, blue 3 on the south. Going for a nice 360 security. Too many people in the south, I think. There's no... Well, it, they're more of a western security than a southern security, leaving this nice hole here. So, I guess it's it's okay. We'll see We'll see if this uh, holds. Put in a lot of presence on the western side, not, it, not too much on the east. Right, Off the bat, red team fanning out. out. 1, down. 3, 2... Moving into their line formation with BTR mounted up with four. Moving off to the flank. Movie's old? That movie's not old, is it? It's gonna make me feel old if it is. It can't be that old. It has, um, let me rose a minute. I like her. I'm looking it up now. I'm on IMDb. So that oh my fire God, team yeah, we're out here. Should I be sending a buddy team or no? What changed it? Negative Not much there. movement for the uh, U.S. Really going to try and hold their uh, their position. Two thousand four. Wow, that is old, isn't it? All right, Silas, get your guys here, up over there, 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 there now to the north. Are you sure, Silas? Yeah. Oh, oh, down and everything. years ago. They never moved what, Joe? They never moved the buddy team to the north. And. Yeah, yeah. And, all right. So, uh, Russian team yeah, moving cool. pretty no, quickly. No, already press about a grid square. One and three moving south. Two's and diverted to the east. Most likely going to be a flank. Putting a lot of pressure on blue one here. Really interested to see where red four goes game, on the west. Oh, no, it's all good. Tell me what I need to do. Where do I put him? Okay, um, just go around. Uh, if you ask to play stand by there, just put it there, okay? Yeah. yeah Got it. Curve around that hill. Hey, Moto, right. can you get that, uh, that landmine down to your west? Uh, do we, we have one right and drop here, one? Yeah, Very aggressive positioning here by Blue 2, sending out another fire team on the west, or a, a, an extra buddy team further west. Is this gonna, is this their mines, guys? Sled V. Can't get anything. It's gonna be a uh, K9. Oh, I like uh, the my mic, audio before. I don't think my, uh, my squad has the kit for that. Kind of I bet Assault is itching to implement a counterattack. I don't think he's stationary in nature. No. Assault, Assault. He's, he's very aggressive with his leadership style. Always in the front of his squad. Always leading from the front. It works out for him more often than it should, I think. But he's, yeah, he's, he's just really good at it. He's good at leading from the front. So if it works for him, I guess, you know. Lord power to him. Doku and Ryu and Sled V still don't see this contacts on the uh, their north yet, or even hear the uh, the BTR. Copy that. Wait, I heard something. K9? I don't know what I, I don't know what I heard. I heard K9, but I don't I don't know. Just make sure everyone is stressing their uh their. Yeah, after tomorrow, maybe 15 years. Yeah, 15 years old. That's um. Well, now I can hear it. Damn. I'm not hearing it anymore. Oh. Maybe it's ambient. Maybe. So, Sled V thinks he hears something. Doki Gun Rio says no. Get eyes on that BTR and if possible, take it out. Fifty. He's bringing it back. Four twenty. Tommy. Fifteen years old. Come on, man. Do that to me. Enemy position, uh, possibly on De uh, Delta nine nine three. Probably where we heard the BTR. Solid copy. Uh, confirmed visual, but uh, that's where we think from FP. All right, give me up to. All right, guys. Um, no guarantee of that though. Where's that contact at? North, my north. Contact right. on um red uh, blue one here contact. comes in contact with blue two. He they had swung this out. I didn't even uh, see uh, this uh, movement here from here to here. Looks like they were only there to set up mortar or set up mines. Alito 6 is bleeding. D-Leak is bleeding. They're going to have to just... D-Leak's got to sit here. He can't fall back from this or he's dead. He's hide. One of my college friends was on Facebook talking about turning 50. I was like, holy shit, we are old, right? Time stops for no man. 
I need a size on that element. Was it one squad, two squads, what? Unknown, heavy contact, stand by. Solid copy. Let's see if this frag... Land. D League toss it just barely not far enough. That could have been really good taking out Dean Chavez or possibly even Sad Year. You're stuck, D League. Just heal up and uh and pray. Yeah, <laughs> there he goes, guys. His medic bag. He's running! Can he make it? Serpentine, D League, Serpentine! He's hiding. This is where the shadows play to his advantage. Look at look at these shadows. D-Leak is running. He's just running. <laughs> from from shadow to shadow is essentially what he's doing. Did you see that? How did he make that run, right? How did he make that run? He's got he's out. I'd say he's out safely. Can anybody stop this? This escape. This great escape from D-Leak. Stormtroopers on the other team. Right? He leaks out, yeah. He's gonna be alright. Update on kills. One kill for the US. One kill for the Russians. Alito 6, you're not gonna you shouldn't be peeking anything. You're you're hit again. He may bleed out here. Oh no, he's reloading. He's good, he's good, he's good. But say he if he if he has to bandage, he's dead. He's okay though. So red one is pushed up on the west. May have some contact here really soon on the west. Epic Smiley may go down to some grenades here. We need to pull back. When the original cast of the A team. <laughs> Wow. Epic Smiley, Oddball, gonna fall back. That's probably the best call. I'd say fall back. You're getting overwhelmed. They have clear fire superiority. Just get out of there. Don't don't try and hold this. It's not gonna really work out for you. You may get the one kill, but the one for one is not in your favor. Well, I guess technically. Well, no, it's not in your favor technically. Two kills for the Russians, one kill for the U.S. One has fallen back entirely. I like the repositioning, moving all forces to the west. Probably, sh I, I I liked one's position on this hilltop here. I need every we're we just lost Western Hill. We're giving that up already. BTR is pushing up to the Western Hill. It's between me and my squad. Copy that. We just hit once in the rear. Copy that. Good shit. Nice. They hit the BTR in the back. Let's see if Slippy can land that second shot. How many shots you got left? There was some dude out in the east. At least one. Yep. Just... And I see... Uh, 66 moving up right, to our guys. Suicidal enough willing to go down and grab that they really proved the they blue US and the here. red Ruskies. Uh, yeah. Generally that's what I, 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 I do. I, people expect the US to be blue and the, the other guys to be red. I like to be on the attackers because they're going to have the better comms. And, but it's it's an awkward call on this because the Russians are the attackers, but the US are the, uh, but in the, US are the defenders. But generally US is blue, so we're going to hear the, the defenders comms. And they're, they're fine. Blackbeard goes down. That's a squad lead down. Nice. Let's head northwest. Uh, say again. Will we have Northwest jack. disengaging? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know it. All but right. just staying oh, cover. Him, yeah, uh, move uh, west and then we're gonna move south. Keep in mind How many shots you got on that lot left? One. Be advised, I have uh, scratched that. We cannot move the lodge. Never mind. We have an come here, come here. Ooh, he's gonna get to reload too. He's got the fire team lead kit. What a nice little buddy team out here. They may get another shot on this BTR yet. Oh, you're scanning me. I think they're trying to mount that Western Hill where Squad 2 was previously. He will come up. Or they are moving into the village compound. Sorry. Update on the rest of the movement. Red 1 and 4 on that Western Hill. Red 3 on the Northwestern Hill. And Red 2 on the Northern Hill. 1 moving back to that Northern position. Like, really thought that was a nice spot. The rest of this flank is really nice. It's, it's a nice little hold here, I think. 
Wow, look at one. Diverted around the hill. Who's, who made that call? I don't know who made this call. Was it one lead or was it command to move a fire team off the point to flank? And and what, what's good, it's, it's enough to make a difference. It's four guys, six total off the point. That can do some damage in the rear. If they don't get spotted, that is. And, and it's enough, and, and it's not too many to where they're they're taking people off the point where they really need them. They still have a good amount of people on the point holding it. Oddball, Epic Smiley, Volatile, Magnesium. They've all got nice hard cover. Lima Bean, nice hard cover to, uh, to fire from. And look at Lima Bean's position here with this MG. This is really, really good. Six kills for the US, three for the Russians. I mean, you're gonna have to fire sooner. I'm gonna go look at somebody else. You got a good spot there. You can hit off the left. You can hit off the north. Look at they're, it's like they're invisible. It's weird. Reloading. Danny boy goes down. Let's go. Let's look at the northern flank. Then go ahead and uh, check out Dogen Rio and his lats. So uh, northwestern flank of four on the hilltop looks okay. They're holding their position fine. They've got sandbags where they need them. Yeah, those they ones are coming in. A little close for my for my liking. Too spread out. It's like they're trying to use the shadows too much. Put the tree right there. Let's go check out one. In this hill that I said they should be. Let's see if I was right. I was just looking at the map and their position earlier. Yeah, I really like this spot. Alito Six has a nice spot. Evans may have a really nice spot. Like, look at this. What's that? This is such a nice spot. It gives them a nice field of uh, field of fire from like four all the way to like 328. This can be very powerful for them. Is this an MG? Yeah, that's an MG. Watching that. Nice. Dokugan, I need you sending a buddy team to the uh, Logi truck. They cannot move it, but see if they can unload it at that range. BTR's down. Copy that. Good shit. Ooh, nice shot from Sled V right, Dokugan, onto the BTR. Together with the uh, Squad 1's fire team down there, you guys are going to push the hill that you guys have pushed off of, alright? The Fox 10 hill. Copy. Salison, Good shot. Was that... That's Sled V? Let's see. I was so pumped for that kill. Actually, no, it wasn't Sled V. He wanted the kill. It was somebody from one. Probably, no, not Elite. It was UJ Key. Sled V was, he was stalking him. Sled V disappointed. Snatched right, right from underneath him. But luckily he's going to hook up with the rest of this fire team and they're going to be able to push this hill from the flank. Meaning the US, or the US now, or excuse me, the Russians now have to divert attention. Look, they have to divert a full squad to look at these six guys who are no longer on the assault. Four is even pulling back to watch this. Yeah, that completely stalled the assault. May allow six to push up these guys from the west, or push these guys from the east moving west. I don't think they will, though. I think it'd be very aggressive and I'd like the call, but I don't think they will. Probably not smart. I just want it to happen. <laughs> that's, that's really it. That could be a game changer, right? That BTR being down could be a game changer. This squad in the back could be a game changer. These six guys could do some damage. Even if it is just time, damage to their, their momentum. That's, that could be enough for them. Alpha's doing a good job. I'm liking the comms. It's very consistent, clear comms. Are you yes, I do. Please, I just used up my smokes to get you over. Okay. Alright, good shit. That shots were coming from the northeast. The pilot's drunk and he's dropping the goddamn supplies all over the place. So who's attacking again? Seems the rolls have been reversed. Red is attacking, blue is defending. Blue has, so blue is defending their point. They've got a majority of their team on the point. They have a single fire team. Well, it's, it's a little more than fire team. That's six guys on the flank harassing the red as they try and push through. Completely stalling red's push. Guido, they are holding north of my current position. I can't, uh, F, T, Please will take the town to the north. Copy, you cannot, if you don't think you can push that hill, fall back. You probably heard it. 
Do you think you push that down? Bounding. Down? Wow, good little bound with you, Dickie and Frisky there. Negative on that. Keep your, uh, keep your fire. Watch the ammo, but yeah, it's good. Good little bound there. Uh, five, four fresh Copy. Solace, your fire team over there is free to maneuver as needed. On it. I'm gonna take the chains off you. The eastern one. Apron. Oh yeah. So hey, we're gonna man, uh, three's gonna go watch so. Oh. Copy. Note for self, don't stop for teammates who need ammo. Did you die here? Was this did you die over here? They just dropped ammo and they started getting shot at. Four, wait, uh, how many casualties have you Daki and friend. Wow, oddball here. Pushes up on dwarf. Took out I see three dead bodies here. What is this? They pushed west, they got aggressive. Get it too. I thought they might. They did I didn't hear the call. But I like it. See, I said I would like it. <laughs> I see a couple dead bodies here. Dwarf's the only one remaining on Oddball's team. Or on, uh... Dwarf's the only one remaining in Oddball's sights. Oh, 13 kills for the U.S. 8 kills for the Russians. Stop the BTR because people needed to reload. Told them I couldn't sit here for long and then boom. Yeah. To be fair, you had a fire team and a buddy team stalking you for... For quite a few minutes. Um, it was a matter of time, but definitely stopping... Four ammo, not wise. Throw it directly in the north. Yeah. Try and keep well, stopping where you stopped. Yeah. Four ammo. Yeah. It sort of just lined it up for him. But where would you stop? Let's see. Let's see. I guess drive into here and try and low, but I mean, still, doesn't give you too good of a cover. I mean, you you were stopping for speed rather than safety. Yeah, stop, get the ammo, and then get out. They just got you right as a... Uh, Right as you got, they shot you from your west over here. There's this fi this fire team got sent over to your west. They had a nice little crossfire. Okay, I'm four strong. I'm not sure where they still know where Dorf is. Oh no, they don't know where Dorf is. If you have to, feel free to pull back. We could tried going up the hill, but it wouldn't make it. Yeah, that hill can definitely be tough. These hills can definitely be tough for the BTR. Go ahead, three. Take them. Left to right. I'm not exactly sure where. Might be close to uh Flank is being completed right, by this fire team one. Yeah, send me at, send me uh, there are friendlies on that hill, so Yep. Make sure you're double checking and he's hundred sure those are enemy contacts. Ooh, Captain Virk goes down. Four, are you pulling yeah, back? And one down. other goes oh 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 seven. pipe punkin into it. I don't even know how these guys I guess Oddball and Captain Burke had pushed through the element. They didn't clear out their flanks. Only two people, so it's understandable. But uh, they may pay for it here. As the you, uh, the insurgents will get it right eventually. Russians bring it, close the gap a little bit. 14 kills for the U.S. 10 kills for the Russians. So pull Oddball to you and pull back. So I'll me up on that flanking element. These guys pass up where they were supposed to go. Copy that uh, element has contacted the northeast. They're about to move on him. He's telling me you, you're killing somebody. Saw a copy. They're right behind us. Reposition. Uh, well, I don't want moving where that. that? Uh, I don't want you moving this. Where's that from? 173. 173 for my position. I only saw one of them. I mean, I kind of have to use the map research because I need to know where. People are. It, it helps with the big picture, I feel. Let's fall back slightly south and take this hill. I, pro I definitely have a bad habit of bringing it up too much, but uh, we need to know where the majority of the team is. Like, Blue has sort of fallen back from this hill. Blue 4 was in this uh, the salient here on the northwest of their defensive location. They've fallen back, allowed Blue, uh, Red 3 to push in. Red 3, uh, uh, Red 3 fire team to push in. Red 3 uh, proper is on the hilltop to their west, laying down fire onto the blue uh, team. We've got a flanking element of blue one, pushing onto blue three and what remains of, uh, excuse me, uh, red three and what remains of red five and the rest of his, uh, uh, red uh, and the rest of red one. Blue two's probably gonna push back or, or, or pull back. I'm not sure what they're gonna do now. Okay, I'm bandaged up.
You confirm you got him? No, I don't know if he's dead. Oh, one of them. Yeah, let's do it. I'm firing. No, they're on the hill. They're on the hill, dude. And they, they want to suppress. Uh, he wants UJ Key and Vladimir to suppress so Friskers can push up. Good idea, but uh, yeah, they, they, it, 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 he'd have to move through too much for it to be of any use. His fire team is now less than less than a full fire team. It's about three people now. Um, see if it can do any use here on the flank. Red three has moved up on the uh, onto the salient. This is their foothold now. This is what a uh, red team, Russian team, needs to. Um, commit to. This is their foothold and they need to push through here. Two, update. Uh, seeing nothing on the south side of the hill where uh, my guys were. Dwarf's still alive? Dwarf is still alive. Kind of casualties here, guys, so we're going to kind of tighten up a bit. Defenses. I love how the harassing Maybe blue core elements are keeping the attack stalled. They have gone, they have them going the wrong way, right? Yeah, I, uh, th that harassing element, not big, it wasn't big. At max it was six people, that's all it took, that was like, six people, less than a squad, about a little more than a fire team, was, was all it took to harass and stall the enemy team of full, uh, a full, about a full uh, fire team. Solid copy. So blue four, size. blue four calling out blue, uh, red three here on this flank. Blue one is falling back from. Um, blue one has fallen back from this hill, I think, to, to focus on their northwest. That may open it up for red two to come in from uh, their northeast. That mine might have something to say about it. I mean, there's no vehicle, so I guess the mine won't have anything to say. Yeah, red four and five, they're. They're dealing with these three guys. Once Gives them two distinct advantages, east. distraction and information Copy on dispersion that. of any forces to relay back to the main defending elements. Yeah. Northeast, yes. Very, very, Solid very, uh, uh, yeah, that's, it's accurate. Act as you need. Three, uh, one is going to be the one giving that information. That's one's flanking element. Let's let's hope that information keeps uh, coming in from uh, from one. Because one is still on the point proper, so he's going to be alive for uh, a long time. So He'll be able to get that information guys, until the last guy does. If they head straight east, there may be some contacts around that area. Let's go back and check out this one. Oh, man. UITY might know where Friskers is. No, he doesn't know. Friskers doesn't know where anybody is. He, he knows that's where people were. Oh, he does see Friskers, or he does see TYTY. Can he? No, he doesn't. He's just shooting at something else. Copy. Dude, there's a fucking rock that when I ADS, it disappears, but when I aim or an ADS. <laughs> red doesn't look like they're pushing much? Yeah, I really feel that uh, Red has lost a lot of their momentum most of it on this hilltop right here this this is where um their their main push will come from i do actually i do like that flank from two i think that's red two red two on the northeast that may this may make some differences dean chavez is squad i want you guys to trap down there yeah Losing the BTR was key, yeah. The, the BTR going down definitely hurt the the Russian push. It's a very powerful asset that they lost. Good movement from Ding Squad. Keep they need a facing. I, I'll say that every single time. Revy, start pulling your guys to the south there, uh, towards you. That Revy and Kilsu, mm, gonna be the ones who spot this. Yeah, Revy and Kilsu are going to be the ones who spot this. Will they spot it, though? Yeah, That's the question. Yeah, he, he'll spot it. 
Easy. And a buddy team. Uh, Holy fuck! Uh, one, one, seven. One, seven, one, seven. One, seven, one, seven. North squad lead. Full squad, full squad, north of the three. Alright, we got a fire team flanking our south. Guys, how far? How far? Fucking squad. Wow, what an ambush. Frederick, Dean Chavez, and one other go down in that initial engagement from Revy and Kilsu. Nice shots from, uh, from Revy. Yeah, holy sh you, like He just like yelled overcoms. He just like freaked out overcoms. They got it up. Open it up. That, that was awesome, yeah. Definitely a good um, good little engagement. Took out three in the engagement. I don't think they know where the, this came from. Only one who's sort of looking in this direction is Dubisku, and now he's looking... um. Northwest. I'm aware. We're, we got close contact on the north and 20 meters too. We're surrounded. Ooh, nice shot. Stupid skew goes down. Dean Chavez's squad just got wiped. Four, four or five guys down in a matter of seconds. 24 for the U.S., 15 for the Russians. Um, you see the, the double trees there? It's behind Deflit. I see the rock. Is he on this side of the rock? Ooh, he goes down to Silas. Duct tape goes down to Silas. Actually, it might not have been Silas. It might have been Sebi V. Sebi V is being aggressive, pushing the red team. Uh, squad size element. I took out three. Yep, yep, got you one. Copy that. That's not going to get anybody. Being spiking our maneuvers have met with bad luck this event. Yeah, they have. And this is an unfortunate... Like, that, that would have that been a good flank. But who, who was this? Blue 3 having the presence of mind to movies. I believe that was... um. I believe Command was one who told him to go over there and just maintain security on that eastern flank. Whoever had the presence of mind to send somebody to that eastern flank saved the squad. They, uh, they, squad one would have definitely gotten run up on by Dean Chavez, and they might have had that element of surprise to slice through the blue team okay, and, and, and cut them off. That would be so close to contact. I don't know how close he, or I don't think he realizes how close he is. No, he has to. Here's that pistol. One second, wait, one second. Right here in front of me, right here in front of me. Right yeah, 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 me. yeah, yeah, we got you, got you, got you. <laughs> one down, one down. Zeronic goes down. Sad year. Last man standing from Dean Chavez's squad. He may take out Sebi V here. And Sebi V gets tagged. Frag. Could be a good frag here. Sebi V may go down. Nope. Didn't throw far enough. Landed on the wrong side of the, the rock form. Landed on the front side of the rock. This is all that remains of Ding's squad, right? I'm just shooting, I'm just shooting. I don't see anyone. Yeah, I'm not. Good thing I was still paying attention over there, huh? This whole thing. Hey, Right on the mine marker. Really? I mean, kind of. He's spotted though. He's out of the shadows. He's in the death blade though. See if he can get out of here. Sad year. Whoa, that, that was an IED. That could have been so good. That was an I. What? What? That was an IED. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Sad year is gonna make it out with his life. Late call on that IAD. Nice. All right, one, hold your Money man, I money's uh, Triton and Boomer. Roger. Last man standing on the point or on this uh, salient. Western flank has been able to manage to make some movement here. Uh, command and, uh, with uh, what remains of Red Four. Yep, red Four and, and a little bit of Red One. This is just a smattering of troops. They've got a little, they've got a, a flank going on, they've got a pincer move going on, Money Man goes down, but I don't think they did, they don't have the members, they, they don't have the numbers in those flanks. They're in position, but they just don't have the numbers to continue the push through. Only had a pistol up. Yeah, Zeronic, we heard you with the pistol.
Probably just out of range when that went up. Yeah, great, great movement from uh, Sadir. I don't think it was intentional. He did. He definitely didn't know that that uh, ID was there. Let's go check out the south bushes. I hear gunshots going off. Uh, we're getting contacts on the south side. Don't know amount, but we're getting contacts. I'm surprised Dwarf has been alive for so long. Like Dwarf was in a such an awkward position when he he was getting shot at by Oddball and friends. He's still alive. oh I <laughs> say that and he's dead. He just goes down. Gentlemen, uh, just keep perimeter on the phone. Uh, we've cleared most of the contacts. Is Alpha Guido dead? On the east. Uh, it sounds like three. it's just to the south and the west. Yeah, three. I mean, you just swing south, reinforce. Yeah, Alpha Guido has gone down. Same with the shadow. North, Phoenix. Phoenix. Update on kills: 30 for the U.S., 18 for the Russians. I'll get an actual count. I count one, two, three. Six red, six Russians versus. Seventeen US, something like that. Six versus seventeen. Not looking good for the Russians. <laughs> right. That's, that's basically what happened. It, what, what was it like? Caster's curse. You, you, you start talking about him, and then everything bad starts to happen. Looks like Sadia had gone down over there on that flank. This is the the ones closest to contact, but I'm, they're gonna get flanked. Look at this movement by uh, Silas's this is squad. The exact position where they were. Yeah, try to minimize your noise as much as you can. They're gonna see us or hear us before they see us. No. You leave being aggressive as you push frag out, doesn't hit anybody. My money's get shot at by uh, Silas. Silas trying to finish the job. Oh no, taking shots at Triton now. Two, two, and two having to bandage. D League putting the pressure on. Oh shit, I fucking didn't know you. He's not in frag range. Ooh, what a one tap by Triton. B League takes one to the face. Elite knows he's there now. Might see monies. Not sure how he doesn't see monies. Yeah, he sees him. There he goes. Triton may go down here next. Probably to Chaplin. Chaplin's in position to capitalize. Nearing the end game, just wrapping up the stragglers. You've got one left on this flank of Trident, and then you got into it TY TY and Pipe Funk on the southern flank. They tried to. They tried. 32 kills to 22 uh, in US's favor. See what happens. Can they do it? Can Trident. Pull off the comeback of the century. Over exaggerating. Definitely not comeback of the century. Comeback of the day. Hour. Triton's gonna go down to Zeke. Zeke took a lot of shots to hit it, but he eventually landed one. Triton goes down. Let's go check out Pipe Funk TY2I and into it. I'm just gonna try and make a not a beeline, but uh, they're definitely headed almost directly towards the point. Trying to maintain whatever cover they can, just cover to cover, best they can do.
Calm's really calmed down since Alpha Guido has died. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it's not. You gotta keep the comms up, I think. But call this out. Phoenix, call this out. Air reports are what? Enemies west. The bomb. Contact to us. Phoenix finally calls it out. They see into it, Pythonk, and TYTY. -T -Y. Into it. They're trying to make some space between them. I really like their spacing, though. Into it does go down, though. Almost. Cover to cover. <laughs> That's all you can do. UITY and Pipefunk making the best of it. Silas taking shots. UITY taking shots from his flank, though. He's gonna go down here. Yeah. No, no, no good cover for it for him here. He's got he's got two flanks to worry about. Ooh, looks like Pipe Punk goes down to hijack. Tyty last man standing. He may get a Lido six here. Does get a Lido six here? Can he do it? I think he's out of bandages. He's not bandaging. He's out of bandages. <laughs> He's just making a run for it. He's close to me. Is he? Yeah. Okay, I don't think they realize how close. Takes a shot at Hijack. Hijack gets a uh, hit. TY TY still hasn't bandaged. He does go down to Sevv. GG. Good movement from the US. Nice. Good. Oof, nice. I, I really like the, the repositioning of Russians. They got into the spots that they needed to. Dean Chavez had a really good flank, unfortunately got cut off. Four got a really good for, uh, foothold, unfortunately didn't have the man to push through. Command took the, the remainder of his guys and had a really good um, push from the south. Again, just not enough people. That's what it came down to. He got whittled down so quickly and so efficiently from the U.S. He didn't have the guys where he needed them, when he needed them. Because of how, that that harassing squad from one.